Hello. Today, I'd like to talk about automated quantum machine learning for Wi-Fi sensing and communications. I'm Toshiaki Koikiakino from Mao Mitsubishi Electric Research Laboratories, USA. First, I'd like to talk about the trends of machine learning. Then I'm gonna give you an overview of quantum machine learning, QML. Then we will show the application of QML for Wi-Fi sensing to monitor indoor environment. Specifically, we want to propose automated QML, or QML, which can have a good performance to predict human pose by using Wi-Fi beam SNR measurements. And finally, I'm gonna conclude the talk. First, I want to talk about emerging technologies. This chart is a Gartner hype cycle released last year. AI is the most important technique, which has a highest expectation in society. Generative AI is also fascinating for many applications. And quantum machine learning, QML, appeared in this chart last year as an emerging technology, which I want to talk about. There are many AI technologies, including classical machine learning, like SVN, and recent deep learning. And we focus on quantum machine learning as first deep learning technologies for AI. Deep learning has been an important technology for AI since 2006, Hinton's paper. There are two key enabling drivers. One is for hardware evolutions, like GPU, and the second evolution for software side, like PyTorch, TensorFlow, many free libraries appeared. As you know, there are many different deep neural network architectures, including residual multi-layer perceptron, convolutional neural network, LSTM, transformer unit, implicit layers, like deep equilibrium and neural ODE. In media signal processing, AI, has shown a great success. Even it surpassed human level performance for many applications, including gaming. And also AI has been used for wireless communications, as you know. When I counted the number of articles in Google Scholar, I discovered a Moore's law, exponential growth for the keyword pair of machine learning plus wireless communication and deep learning plus wireless communications more than doubling every year. However, the evolution of deep learning has a risk for a sustainable growth. Some reports show that training a one big neural network using network architecture search requires five-fold higher carbon emissions of a single car lifetime. Therefore, New computing modality, alternative CPU, GPU, TPU are desired. For example, natural computing, such as quantum computing or DNA computing. Some people say quantum computing can drive the fourth industrial revolutions in the world, and the government fundings are growing. There are many vendors producing quantum processor unit, QPU, for example, IBM, Google, Microsoft, Honeywell. They are providing a quantum cloud services. And also free libraries are matured. In particular, QPU development has been advancing very rapidly. Last November, IBM released more than 100 qubits QPUs. Then they plan to release more than 1,000 qubit QPU next year. There are many different hardware realizations besides superconducting QPU, like trapped ion, neutral atoms, and photonic processors. Some papers also show the quantum supremacy is a superconducting processor or photonic processor. However, quantum advantage is still argued for general applications. In the past decade, Quantum computing has been used for machine learning. Since 2014, variational principles was proposed for noisy intermediate scale quantum processors. And after 2016, 
quantum autoencoder, quantum kernel support vector machine, generative adversary network, GAN, convolutional neural network, and graph neural network are successfully migrated into quantum processors. Some paper shows that quantum is interpreted as a kernel operations. As you know, neural network has a good property known as universal approximation theory, which proved that wide neural network can approximate arbitrary functions or deeper neural network can approximate. And recently, it was proved that quantum processor also holds UAP, via data re-uploading trick, which show that a series of quantum layers can be interpreted as a multiple hidden nodes and more quantum bits are equivalent to deeper networks. In the past, quantum processors are a black box. However, some papers showed that quantum processing can be differentiable, for example, using parameter shift rule enabling an exact calculation of gradient. Because QPU are differentiable, we can integrate quantum processor and classical processor to calculate some algorithm to back propagate the gradient to optimize the parameters in the computing graph. One such example are known convolutional neural network, which uses quantum processor to convolve image pixels integrated in a classical convolutional neural network. There are many different quantum circuits known as ANSATs, for example, layered gates, alternating operations, or tensor network. And quantum neural network is a key major driver for the 6G applications. There are some expectations of QNN advantage. For example, fewer trainable parameters can support exponentially large size of quantum states in parallel. And parallel ensembling can prevent overfitting and underfitting. And potentially quantum processing can be power efficient than classical computers. And again, I discovered the Moore's law when I count the number of articles in Google Color with a keyword of quantum machine learning. It is doubling every year. Interestingly, this growth rate is similar to deep neural network trends. And it is only six years behind. This may suggest that quantum machine learning will be used for nearly all research community in a few years, considering the fact that deep neural network is very popular nowadays. Then we propose the quantum machine learning for Wi-Fi sensing in ICC this year. This may be useful for indoor localizations or human monitoring. The Wi-Fi sensing is particularly suited for quantum machine learning because wireless routers can easily access to a quantum servers in the cloud. We use a spatially rich feature available in Wi-Fi standard, which scans a beam of multiple sectors. And we set up the experimental platform to sense human pose. In ICC paper, we use simplified to design ANSATs as a quantum neural network, which has staggered power Y rotations and controlled Z gate, which can approximate nearly arbitrary unitary rotations using fewer number of parameters. This QNN feeds the beam SNR measurement data, then quantum processor produces a softmax score for each category of human pose. This QNN has only 18 variational quantum parameters to train. This figure shows the performance for various machine learning techniques for cross-session accuracy, including KNN, SVM, deep neural network, and quantum neural network. We demonstrated that quantum neural network is comparable to state-of-the-art deep neural network performance, even though the number of parameters are significantly fewer. Let's see the result of confusion matrix here for SVM, DNN, QNN, and transfer learning. We see a huge confusion for the pose number four or pose number six. 
using DNN or QNN, we can resolve the number six. However, still the pose four is confusing. Then using quantum transfer learning, we can solve this confusion, leading to a good performance in accuracy and also AUC score of 0.99. In this talk, we focus on automated quantum machine learning, how we can design quantum answers. There are many variants of circuit templates, such as angle embedding, IQP embedding, to design QLA, tensor network, entangling layer or random layers. A solid trial and error efforts are required to select such a quantum answers design. To facilitate this design, we use AutoML framework, especially Opportuner, based on Bayesian optimization to search for a good hyperparameter to control the ANSATS design. We call auto ANSATS. We can use pruning methodology to efficiently search for a good hyperparameters. For example, hyperband pruning can identify hopeless candidates. This shows the performance of different ANSATS explored in auto QML. We observe that random answers are good for fewer parameters. And MPS answers are good for larger number of parameters. Then two design answers are relatively good over a wide range of parameter size. When we see a sensitivity of the hyperparameter selections, we can see, for example, some answers have really bad performance and AutoML can automatically tune hyperparameter such as learning rate, number of layers, and number of qubits. This figure shows the importance factor by a function ANOVA analysis. And we found that answers are really important factor determining the test accuracy. Usually learning rate is the important factor for deep neural network, but for our case, it was shown the lowest importance. By using AutoQML, we show that the performance can be improved over a manual tuning QNN and then achieves better than a state-of-the-art deep neural network performance. Now let's conclude the talk. We show the recent AI trends and overview the recent advancement of quantum machine learning. We proposed AutoQML for Isaac showing the first proof of concept study of quantum applications. We experimented the feasibility of commercial off-the-shelf Wi-Fi sensing system for human monitoring. We achieved the state-of-the-art performance using fewer parameter quantum neural network, showing nearly 100% accuracy. And we verified the gain through AutoML optimized QNN answers. Also, we analyzed if a novel factor showing importance of ANSATS design. There are many fascinating open topics and high potentials on quantum machine learning for future work. I hope you enjoy my talk. If you have questions, please contact me. Thank you so much.